chip of the day. Chip of the day is a 7405, one of the very first 7400 series parts ever made. The 7404 is an inverter and it has the exact same pinout, but the 7405 was an inverter, but with open collector output. So we'll talk about what that means, open collector outputs. Um, seems like back in the day, we might have put in a little star on the output, little a little star asterisk or something to um, denote that it was an open collector. I don't remember, ah, it's a long, long time ago when I designed with these things. Um, so like I said, it looks like a normal in, inversion package, but uh, does this data sheet have it? No, this data, sh data sheet doesn't have it. Let me. Let me draw it in. Uh, trash man's outside. Um, so this this uh, this part, actually the very the very end of it, is going to look like this. Okay, and so this is the uh, let's say this is pin two, and this is pin one. Okay, and uh, this inverts the signal, but it's open collector on the output. And so if you want to use this thing, you have to add your own pull-up resistor. Now you can add a pull-up resistor to anything you'd like. And so let's take a look at um, how high of a voltage that we can that we can pull that up to. So we need to take a look at the uh, take a look at the data sheet. Uh, let's see here. Absolute high level output voltage. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's noisy outside today. Um, let's see here. You know, this data sheet, <laughs> interestingly enough, says five and a half volts. Now, um, I think you can use it higher than that, but it doesn't say on the data sheet. Um, I would have expected that uh, you could pull it up to 12 volts and it would be just very happy doing that but I don't think they wanted to test it to that um, I'm pretty sure everybody and their brother used it up at 12 volts but uh, I don't see it on this original data sheet uh, maybe some of the newer parts this is an old for I wanted to use an old an old data sheet because it's an old part um, but the old original data sheet does not really say you can pull these up to 12 volts. Um, I don't see why. I really don't see why. Uh, but yeah, it says five and a half volts. I'm really surprised with that. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and hook up something. Um, the other thing about how much voltage that you can pull it up to is how much current that you can get away with. How much current will this thing sink? Um, and so we can take a look at the data sheet for that. Um, and that would be low level output current, 16 milliamps. Yeah, that matches some of the modern data sheets I've seen, uh, 16 milliamps max, um, which isn't a whole lot, right? So if we have, um, if we have 12 volts and uh, uh, we divide that by 16 milliamps, okay, 12, 16, at 750 ohms. See, that's, uh, that's still a pretty big, so what I have in the circuit, we're going to look at a circuit here. I have a, uh, a, uh, a thousand ohm, I'm going to be pulling it up with a thousand ohm resistor and 12 volts. Okay, so we're going to have 12 milliamps, uh, 12 milliamps of current, which is right in the middle of, so this is absolute, 16 is the absolute maximum, so I'd say 12 milliamps is about its normal range, right, would be its typical range. So, and again, I'm kind of curious about this 12 volt thing, uh, whether they just didn't want to stick their neck out or not. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at a, at a uh, circuit here. Um, I've got 555 going into pin 1, and then on pin 2 I have a uh, 1 K pull up to 12 volts. Okay, so let's see how it's operating here. Uh, this is the input. This is the, uh, this is, these are both uh, two volt uh, per division, so two, four, five. Um, and um, the channel one is going to be the uh, <clears throat> output. And I have that, like, like I said, tied to 12 volts, so uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And uh, yeah. It doesn't quite pull it all the way down, 
So there's some uh, collector emitter drop on that output transistor. Uh, so we can kind of zoom in on that. Let's see here. Let's uh, zoom in on this one. So this is a 200 millivolts, so 200, 300, about 300 millivolts of uh, offset on the, uh, on the, oops, didn't want to turn that one, I want to turn this one. There we go. But anyway, um, it is open collector. Um, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be scared to put it up to 12 volts. Um, I don't know for how far past that I would go now that I've read this old data sheet. Um, and uh, I'd be curious to see if maybe, and this is the original uh, TTL version, right? This is a 74, uh, a 7405. I've got a, a bag of them here, old 7405s. Now the LS version may have been more rugged. Um, and uh, certainly things like the HC version is, are going to be even more rugged and things like that. The newer, the newer, the newer ones. But uh, yeah, uh, very curious. Let, let me let me know if uh, let me know if I'm reading the data sheet wrong. But I just don't see um, twelve five and a half output current. The output five point five volts. Yeah, they tested at five point five volts. Um. Uh, Max current input. This is input current. Uh, let's see here. Output. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, not a lot about output stuff. Very interesting. I mean, that's the whole reason for this part is the output characteristic of it. And they're very lax in their characterization of the output. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, chip of the day is a 7405.